Waiting for? Fasten your seatbelts. We didn't pay you to give us orders. Drive! Because you asked so nicely. Money's all there. Yes, it is. Let's go. Having led can cops on a high-speed chase, the bank robbers have been caught and are awaiting sentencing. Oh, too bad. Mr. Martin, you home? Tarcuni, I told you to call me Frank. I didn't presume to take you seriously upon our first meeting. May we talk outside? Of course. There was a high-speed chase earlier this morning. A bank heist. You hear about it? Just a news report on TV. We are checking vehicles in the vicinity, you understand. May I? It's in the garage. This is a nice pet car, Frank. Thank you. Would you like something to drink? No, I've got to get going. They keep me busy down at the station. It's always a good thing to keep busy. You take care of yourself. You too. I may be back. I'll be here. Hello? I'm looking for a transporter. I'm listening. Wait. 50 kilos, not more. Destination? Back mansion 5. Deliver to Mr. Rule 2. No names. Time of pickup? 7 o'clock in the morning. Traveling within the speed limit, one stop for refreshments? 50,000. Times of the contract cannot be renegotiated. Another rule? It's rule number 1.
have to pee? You've got two minutes. Pissing me off breaks over. See what comes of breaking the rules, Frank. Did you open the package? Door number three. Never open the package. Got your money right here, mister. Oh, I forgot. Door number two. I like a cat who follows the rules. Me too. You gonna cut it? Should I? <laughs> that concludes the deal. I wonder if you wouldn't mind transporting something for me. That's what you do, right? Wait. About a kilo. Destination. East Beach, near Straw Street. The price is 300000 Why not? I like that guy. What are you doing here? I'll be no trouble. Like breakfast. I'm made for you. You like it? I like it quiet in the morning. Yes, me too. Very quiet. No use, T. I get it for you. Who are you? The cook. I see. What do I owe the pleasure this time, Darkoni? I thought I might take you up on that drink. Also, there was an attack on a mansion. It seems to be connected to that pack car explosion. So, you found my car. Excuse me? Some burrito had stole it. And you didn't report it missing. First on my list of things to do this morning. You wouldn't be trying to play games with me, would you? I don't play games. It's so good to hear, Frank. These are dangerous cans. I believe you. Another car in the garage? It's her car. Never hitchhiked before. She's a damn good cook. Not really. Putting it bluntly, it's a complicated matter. I don't like complicated. I'm glad to hear that, Frank. Last night I had nightmares. About this little girl who came into my nice quiet life and screwed it all up. It's quiet. Thought you like a quiet? 
Not this quiet. I never thought it would come to this. I lost so much. At least we're alive. Still not sure if I want to know everything or nothing about you. What are you doing? Making out phone trouble. Blew up my house. I don't know what you're talking about. And you're being very rude. Where are your cans? Lie? Father, you bet they are family. It's just business. Slave trade? Let them go. You never had a good business sense. I wanted a boy. <laughs> you're wondering why I tried to kill you. You opened the package. You broke the rule. <laughs> Police, what is going on here? Just a little breaking and entering, officer. Frank, you come with me. I will need your information, Mr. Wall Street. As soon as I've contacted my lawyers, I'll be more than happy to cooperate. Where are they? I think you should be more concerned with where you are. What got into you? You are always so careful. You've got to get out of here. You may not be getting out of here for a very long time. For once, I need the truth. They're smuggling cans. And you could do something about this? Yes. If I were out. Don't shoot! He's got my gun! And the can moves that cry his brains out. Just... Just leave him alone. Says he'll let me laugh. Loaded, Mr. Kwai. You don't have to do this. You shut up.
Negotiation declined. Per the rules. You die! Why don't you put the gun down before you hurt yourself? Oh, Ken. <laughs> he was in Ken Ho, but he was still my father. Officer, I've got something to show you. Come on out. You are safe now. <laughs> 